Hello everyone, this is Julia. Thank you so much for joining me on my craft room adventures. Today I'm back with another card using products by Sunny Studio Stamps. This time I'm using their beautiful new layering stamp sets, the Layered Basket and the Captivating Camellias Flowers, which are just so beautiful. But since I'm just starting out using layering stamps, I wanted to see if I can get around like purchasing a lot of layering inks because I suffer from like full set syndrome, so I'm trying to limit my spending. So I wanted to see if I can actually get it done with using Distress Inks. Now, they're not great for stamping, but honestly, they worked fine. I'm sure if you have like high quality stamping inks that it would be easier and you wouldn't have to like try so hard. But if you're in a pinch, if you don't have a lot of colors, those work fine. I also, I tried it with the oxides and those stamp a lot better, but I didn't like the, the chalky finish that I was getting. So I was really happy with the result that I got with the Distress Inks. So I'm just layering up all of the layers, just uh, blotting off some of the excess ink because this ink pad was really, really wet. I just run my ink pad over it because I found that that puts down a little less ink and that worked better. I'm sorry I'm not showing you how I line up the stamps because basically you would just be looking at the back of my head because you, you really do need to like put your head over it and just line them up. But since they're clear stamps it's really really easy to line them up and you get such an amazing result. Just look at all that dimension and we haven't even added the last layer yet. And Oh my god, I just love this. I never even used layered stamps before, so this was quite the experience for me. And oh my god, I'm, I'm hooked, guys. I really am. This is just, I mean, that dimension to create that with coloring is like really hard for me. So to have it with inks and stamps, awesome. So just adding the last layer. And then I use the coordinating die to cut that out. I'm also ink blending the background. I'm using tumbled glass and salty ocean distress oxide. And the captivating camellias, uh, I stamped those out as well, but I will have another video coming up where I show you how to stamp those. So just to keep the video a bit shorter, I just focused on the layered basket for now because the process is basically the same of all the layering stamps. I will list below which kind of inks I used for the flowers. Just blending the colors for the background with a tumble glass and the salty ocean back and forth. Adding quite a bit of the salty ocean because I wanted it to be like a nice bright spring sky. Now I'm also adding some splatters of liquid stardust then also of the salty ocean and the tumble glass. The tumble glass was kind of a waste of time because you really can't tell because it's so light, but the salty ocean really did show up nicely. And then I'm using the uh, Altenew Crisp dye inks in Frosty Pink and in Coral Berry. This, those are also the ones that I was using for the Captivating Camellias. And I'm ink blending the sentiment. This word die actually comes with a coordinating die for the layered basket, which is awesome. So I'm just ink blending that to get the same effect as I have on the flowers. But uh, the like dark color was like really prominent, the ruby red. So I'm just adding a little bit of that as well. Just to make sure that all the colors match up, I also ink blended a grassy panel that I die cut with the Slimline Nature Borders with the Forest Glade and the Frayed Leaf, I believe it is, inks. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the ink blending with the Altenew inks on Bristol. I'm sure with another paper it may be better. Uh, but you could kind of see the paper texture with those, which I never have with Distress Inks, so I don't know why that is. But I really wanted to make sure that all the colors match, so I just went with it because most of it will be covered up by the pretty basket anyways. Then I just used a berry colored card base. Then I cut a piece of white cardstock that's just a little bit smaller. And then I layered my ink blended piece on top. 
I cut the grassy panel to the same size as the blended background. And I also die cut some of the stitched fluffy cloud dies, just to add a little bit of more interest to the background. Just adding those down with liquid glue. And off to the side you can actually see the basket that I stamped out first, which was with a Distress Oxide. So you get a much more like chalky finish, so the Distress inks were definitely, for me, the way to go. Then I'm just layering the flowers inside the basket because I really wanted to like get the layout right so I just placed them down and added a little bit of liquid glue to the back of the basket and then just added them in. Then I'm stamping the word happy from the captivating camellias so that my sentiment will read happy spring. And then I'm adding two die cuts uh, out of white cardstock from the spring and then my ink blended piece. Just layering them with liquid glue so that the sentiment would have some dimension. I will spare you the fun I had <laughs> for the dot of the eye layering those tiny pieces. That was fun. But it worked out. It was just a little bit fiddly. Now I'm just adding liquid glue to the back of my stacked sentiment so that it looks like a... What is it called? I think it's chipboard. So that's really nice. And then I'm adding my painstakingly layered, I think it's called a tittle, is that the word? I think it is. So just using my picker tool to line that up. I added foam tape to the back of the basket so that that has some dimension as well. And now I'm just adding lots and lots of shimmer pen because you can never have too much sparkle, especially with like spring and florals. So that always works. And that finishes off my card for today. I really like how this turned out and I just love the dimension you get with the stamping and all of those layers. And there you can also see the pretty shine from the like sparkle pen. I really hope you like this one. Thank you so very much for joining me today and spending this time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and until next time. Bye!